you want to improve your knowledge on the drums but you can't read drums notation trust me you're watching the right video here i'm going to show you how to understand drum notations and how to understand time signatures the first thing you're going to see when looking at any drum sheet music or any sheet music at all is a staff it is called a stave or a staff which has five lines and four spaces the representation of each kit are placed on each lines and the spaces so the first thing you need to know is that you start counting each from the bottom so we have space one space two space three and space four we have line one line two line three line four and line five so you count it from bottom as well so the kick which is the bass drum is always on space one floor thumb is on space two your snare is on space three and if it is a cross on space three it means you have to play the side stick which is your cross stick on the snare drum Tom two is on line four Tom one is on space four it and check the photo above and then just go through it the cross sign refers to the symbols and then when there's um like a zero or an o on the cross sign it means you have to play an open i heart which is <laughs> but if it is a cross on it it means a closed a closed i heart right after knowing the notations on a stave the next thing you're gonna see at the beginning of every stave is the time signature for example the four over four top number means the number of beats that's gonna be in a bar the bottom number tells us the note value we are to play so if it is a four over four it means that everything in a bar shouldn't be more than four and then we're going to play it using the quarter note value just have it at the back of your mind that the top number means the number of beats in a bar while the bottom number tells you the note value we are going to play each bar i'm going to be doing more videos doing different explanations on how to understand those values, how to understand bar, bar lines. We're going to be going deeper into time signatures. I'm going to be teaching on rudiments and all of that. So if you want to learn how to read the sheet music properly, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss out on any new video. And also, if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video.